praise break. And we're going to be doing that tonight. Y lo vamos a hacer esta noche. So every time I say praise break, Entonces, cada vez que diga praise break we jump up, nos vamos a brincar, lift our hands, subir las manos, and shout out to God. Y a Dios. All right, you guys got it? ¿Lo tienen? Praise break! Amen, 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 amen. I'm excited. I'm excited. I'm excited. Estoy muy feliz. This new series, Counter Attack, Esta nueva serie, I feel like it's going to be beyond normal. Yo pienso que va a ser más de normal. It's going to be abnormal. Es va a ser anormal. Because what God has planned for this series, man, is going to be powerful. Es va a ser How many poderoso. believe that? ¿Cuántos creen eso? Counter Attack, Counter Attack. Contra -ataque. If we were just going to call it Attack, si solo le llamaríamos ataque, then we would be the one just going further, further, further attacking the enemy. Entonces nosotros seríamos los que atacamos. But no, the series is called Counter Attack. Pero la serie se llama Contra Ataque. Meaning, no matter how hard the devil hits, significa que no importa lo que tan duro que el diablo. We're gonna hit him with our best shot. Le vamos a pegar con nuestro. Amen. Todo. Get ready, because we about to do a praise break real soon. All right, rápido. so how many uh, came with something to write with or brought their cell phones? I know about their cell phones. I highly suggest you guys take notes with this. Yo les que tomen notas. Because this can change your life forever as it Por, changed mine. Porque eso pueden cambiar sus vidas como me la cambió a mí. So take notes. Entonces, tomen notas. And let's get this started. If you got your Bibles. Y empecemos esto. How many brought your Bibles? Paper Bibles. Let me see the paper Bibles. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That was the phone. Nine, ten, eleven. Okay, okay. That's not bad. Bueno, eso no es tan mal. All right, so open up your Bibles to 2 Corinthians. Hablan sus Biblias a 2 Corintios. 2 Corinthians. All right, say amen if you guys got it. It's 2 Corinthians 12. Díganme si lo tiene 2 Corintios 12. Chapter 12. Capítulo 12. Verse 9. Verso 9. 2 Corinthians chapter 12, verse 9. 2 Corintios capítulo 12, verso 9. Say hold up if you don't got it. Digan esperen si no lo tienen. Amen. Let's get it. And it says. Y dice. But he said to me. Pero él me dijo a mí. My grace is sufficient for you. Mi gracia es suficiente para ti. For my power Por mi poder is made perfect es hecho perfecto in weakness. In debilidad. Let's read that again. Le eso otra vez. But he said to me, Pero él me dijo a mí, my grace mi gracia is sufficient es suficiente for you. Para ti. For my power Porque mi poder is made perfect es hecho perfecto in weakness. En debilidad. Let's pray. Oremos. Thank you, Father God, for this night. Thank you for everybody who's here, Lord. They could be anywhere, God. But they choose to be here with you, Lord. Let this be something special. Touch us. Wrap us around. With your love. Your grace. Your mercy. Let everything go according to your plan. Now, Father God, speak to me. And speak through me. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Amen. And amen. Amen. So, ready? Whoever's writing down the notes, get ready to write down the title. Eh, los que están listos para eh, apunten el título. The title of the message is. El título del mensaje es. In order to counter. Para poder contra. You must first encounter. Tiene que encontrar. In order to counter. Para poder en eh, contra, eh, contra. You must encounter. Deben encontrar. Now, the thing I like about this title Lo que me gusta este is because I want it to be personal. Es que que sea personal. I want you guys to add and fill in the blanks of the title. Notice I didn't say in order to counterattack. No, no I said in order to counter para poder contra. Blank. blank. You must first encounter. Tienen que primero encontrar. Blank. So you guys fill in the blanks. In order to counter para poder contra this addiction I'm going through, esta que estoy this pasando, temptation that I keep falling esta from, tentación que estoy cayendo, this trial that's burning me, estas, eh, the, the, uh, yeah, the, prueba, 
all these trials Todas esas pruebas, in order to counter them para poder contra, we eh, must first ellos, encounter primero ten, con, tenemos que encontrar and I'll let you know the three things y le voy a dejar saber las tres cosas you must encounter que tiene que encontrar. so ready this is point number one Esto es número uno. in order to counter attack para poder contra atacar, you must first encounter attack por, primero tiene que encontrar In order to counter attack, para poder contraatacar, you must first encounter attack. Primero tienen que encontrarse y atacar. I want us to open up to the book of Job. Quiero que hablamos al libro de Job. Chapter 1. Capítulo 1. Now before we begin reading, antes de que empecemos a leer, I just want to tell you who who Job is. Quiero decirle que quién es Job. The Bible says that Job, la Biblia dice que Job was a blameless and upright man. Era un hombre que no tenía nada malo. He feared God Él tenía miedo de Dios and shunned evil. Y eh, apagaba lo malo. He had seven sons Tuvo siete hijos and three daughters. Y tres hijas. And he owned 7,000 sheep, 3,000 camels, 3, camellos, 500 yoke of oxen, 5, oxen. Yeah. and 500 donkeys. Y 500 burros. <laughs> and had a large number of servants. Y tenía muchos, eh, sirvientes. The Bible says he was the greatest man among all the people of the East. This is Job. This is Job. Job sounds like an awesome heavenly person. Job suena como una persona super grande. But I can tell you right now, Pero yo digo ahora, he was probably the person who went through most trial than anyone else in the Bible. Pero él fue una de las personas que tuvo que pasar por muchas pruebas not including Jesus without including Jesus he was a person who went through the most trial more than Joseph who was sold by his own brothers first he was thrown into a pit and then he was sold by his same brothers to be a slave in Egypt para que sea un esclavo en Egipto. And then while he was in Egypt, y mientras está en Egipto, he became a prisoner for two years. Lo hicieron prisionero por dos años. More than Joseph. Más More than Moses, Moses. Más de Moisés. Who lived his whole life que vivió toda su vida as a lie. Como en mentira. He thought he was royalty. Él pensó que era real. But in reality, Pero en realidad, he was a slave. Era un esclavo. And he was enslaving his own people. Y una es eh, estaba eh, teniendo esclavos More a than gente. Jonah. Más de Jonás was swallowed by a fish que lo comió un pescado. let's be real he was swallowed by a fish Seamos real, lo comió un pescado. that's bad es that's horrible es horrible. more than you name it Más de cualquiera. more than Paul, Más de Paul. more than Peter. Más de Peter you guys Pedro. know Peter de Sana Pedro. more than John Más de John. who had his head chopped off que le su cabeza. Job. Job was attacked the most Fue atacado más. It says in Job. Isn't hope? I'm gonna kind of summarize it because it's a lot. Lo voy a decir rápido porque es mucho. Job 12. Job 12. No, matter of fact, Job 13. Digo, Job 13. It says one day. Un día. When Job's sons and daughters were feasting and drinking with uh, uh, wine at the oldest brother's house. Cuando los hijos de Job y las hijas se están tomando en el vino del hermano mayor de Job. Now 14, a messenger came to Job and said, 14, el hermano, un mensajero vino a Job y le dijo, The oxen were plowing and the donkeys were grazing nearby, and the Sabians attacked and carried them off. They put the servants to the sword, and I'm the only one who has escaped to tell you. Los, oh, los oxen fueron eh, matados y los eh, burros estaban ahí, y vinieron los Sabians y lo atacaron y los llevaron. Y pusieron, eh, mataron a todos los esclavos, pero yo fui el único que sobreviví para decirle, para contarle. Verse 16. El 16. While he was still speaking, mientras todavía estaba hablando, yet another messenger came and said, The fire of God fell from the sky and burned up the sheep and the servants, and I'm the only one who has escaped to tell you. Dijo que el fuego de Dios vino del cielo y mató a todas, quemó a todas las ovejas y a los servidores. Eh, sirvientes y yo soy el único que sobreví para contárselo verse 17 el 17 while he was still speaking another messenger came and said the child the Chaldeans formed three raiding parties and swept down on your camels 
and carried them off. They put the servants to the sword, and I'm the only one who has escaped to tell you. Mientras estaba hablando, vino otro mensajero y le dijo que los Chaldeans eh, formaron un grupo y unieron y cogieron a todos los camellos y se los llevaron y mataron a todos los sirvientes y yo soy el único que sobreviví para contárselo. Now that sounds like it could be already the bad part. Esto puede sonar que fue la parte peor. He lost all of his servants Perdió todos sus sirvientes and lost all of his wealth. Y todo su dinero. Yet it wasn't over. Pero no, estaba, no había terminado. Verse 18. El it 18. says, While he was still speaking, yet another messenger came and said, Your sons and daughters were feasting and drinking wine at the oldest brother's house. When suddenly a mighty wind swept in front of the desert and struck the four corners of the house, it collapsed on them, and they are dead. I am the only one who has escaped to tell you. Y mientras estaba hablando, le contó que los hijos y sus hijas estaban tomando vino en, el, en la casa del hermano y vino un viento y, y dañó toda la casa y, ca, y colapsó y mató a todos ellos. Pero yo fui el único que sobreí para cantárselo. So right here we have this man Entonces aquí tenemos este hombre who loved God. Que amaba a Dios. God loved him. Dios lo ama a él. He was upright. Él era bueno. He didn't like evil. No le gustaba lo malo. And yet all this happened to him. Y aún todo esto le pasó a él. And this is not even the worst test. There's still more tests to come, but it's irrelevant to the topic. Y eso no es la única prueba, pero hay más pruebas que no es relevante este to, eh, título. But the thing that surprised me the most pero la cosa que más me sorprendió was that in verse 20, que en verso 20 Job's response eh, la reacción de Job to all this para todo esto was that he got up fue que se paró, tore his robe dañó su ropa, and shaved his head calvió su, se puso calvo. now if we stop right there we'll be like man he lost his mind but it says then he fell to the ground and worshipped he fell to the ground and worshipped so his counter Entonces, su contra, to the attack al ataque, was worship era adorar. he said naked I came from my mother's room and, and naked I will depart the Lord gives and the Lord takes away may the name of the Lord be praised. Vine desnudo del vientre de mi madre y desnudo me iré. Lo que trae el, lo que Dios da, él lo puede llevar, que sea Dios adorado. Could it be that God is trying to let us know something with this? ¿Será que Dios nos puede nos quiere decir algo con esto? Could it be that God is trying to let us know? ¿Será que Dios nos quiere dejar saber? That the greatest counter attack. Que el mejor contraataque to attack. Para atacar is to fall in worship. Es caer y adorar. Could it be that God is trying to let us know ¿Será que Dios nos está dejando saber that in the midst of that chaos, que en, todos esos, eh, in the middle of all these bad things happening, en todas esas cosas que están malas, the best counter la mejor contra, is to fall es caer in worship. Y adorar. What if I told you si yo les digo that this scenery right here que todo esto acá, is not the perfect place for worship? No es el mejor lugar para adorar. What if I told you the guitar was in perfect tune? Si yo le digo que otras cosas para adorar. Tom's piano sounded amazing. Que el piano de Tom suena eh, espectacular. The drums were amazing. La batería son buenas. The bass was all the way up. El bass es muy alto. All, all the lights were dimmed. Que todas las luces estaban bajas. Everybody is over up here singing. Todos están acá cantando. What if that's not the perfect place to worship? Y si eso no es el mejor lugar para adorar? What if that's a good opportunity to worship? Es una buena oportunidad para adorar. But what if that's not the perfect scenario for worship? Pero si ese no es el mejor escenario para adorar. What if God is trying to let us know? Si Dios si si Dios nos está diciendo that the best place to worship que el mejor lugar para adorar is in the midst of a counterattack. En el eh, mientras estamos en un contraataque. What if God is trying to let us know? Que si Dios nos está tratando de decir that the next time you go through something que la próxima vez que pases por algo the next time you feel like you ain't worthy la próxima vez que no te sientes que the next time you feel bueno, like man I went through so much que estás pensando pase por mucho what if God is saying now it's time to worship si Dios te está diciendo ahora es tiempo de orar what if that was the perfect scenario si ese es que si ese es el mejor escenario it's crazy that we, we, we think about this es loco que pensamos en esto because if we just focus on the attack that came porque si solo nos enfocamos en el ataque que vino then we are not going to be able to counter attack that entonces no vamos a poder contra atacar step one eh, paso número uno in order to counter attack para poder atacar you must first encounter attack tenemos que primero encontrar atacar 
If you think God's been good, si piensas que Dios está how bueno, many think God's been good? ¿Cuántos piensas que Dios es bueno? I want you to wait for the next attack. Quiero que esperen al el próximo ataque. For you can see how good God can really be. Para que vean tan bueno que Dios puede ser. Because we see all these things. Porque vemos todo esto. And we say, yo, God allowed this to happen. Y decimos, Dios está dejando que esto pase. God let Job go through all this. Dios dejó que Job pasara por todo esto. But if we look at the end of the story, Pero si vamos al, al final de la historia, it says, dice, the Lord made him prosperous again. Dios lo hizo, eh, otra vez. Gave him twice as much as he had before. Le dio doble lo que tenía. All his brothers and sisters and everyone who had known him before him, who knew him before, came and ate with him in his house. Todos sus hermanos, hermanas, a todas las personas que lo conocían, vinieron y comieron a su They casa. comforted him. Lo llenaron, lo acompañaron. And they brought upon him y le dieron counsel. Co eh, consuelo. And each one of them gave him a piece of silver and a gold ring. Y cada uno le dio un pedazo de, eh, oro. The Lord blessed the latter part of Job's life more than the first. Dios eh, bendició la segunda parte de la vida de Job que la, más que la primera. He now had 14,000 sheep. Ahora tenía 14, ovejas. 6,000 camels. 6,000 camellos. 1,000 yoke of oxen. 1,000 oxen. 1,000 donkeys. 1,000 eh, burros. And he also had seven sons and three daughters. Y tuvo otros siete hijos y siete hijas. And the first daughter he named. Y la primera hija la llamó. Jamina. Jamina. And the second, Kazia. Kazia. And the third is the weirdest. Y la tercera la más rara. Kevin Hapuch. Kevin Hapuch. And nowhere in all the land. En ninguna en ninguna parte de la tierra. Were there found women as beautiful as Job's daughters? Encontraron hijas tan hermosas como las hijas de él. And their father granted them an inheritance along with their brothers. Y el padre también le dio una her herencia como los hermanos. And after this, y después de esto, Job lived 140 years. Job vivió 142 años. He saw his children vio sus hijos and their children y sus hijos to the fourth generation. Hasta la cuarta generación. And so he died old y murió bien and full of years. Y lleno de años. So I repeat, Entonces, lo a repetir. if you think God's been good, si piensan que Dios es bueno, wait until the next attack comes. Entonces, esperan hasta el próximo ataque. Wait until the next time you're, you, you are surrounded by chaos. Because if you thought he's been good to you now, si piensan que él es bueno ahora, after the attack, you're going to see how good God really is. Después del ataque, van a ver Praise me. Bueno Amen. Amen. Point two. In order to counter, para poder contra, you must first encounter tiene que encontrar yourself. Tus, mismos. Now think about this. Ahora Remember, I told you to fill in the blanks. Eh, que yo les dije que lo que falta. So, in order to counter Entonces, para contra, whatever your situation is, lo que está you must first encounter que yourself. A I know many people that when attack comes Yo sé que muchas personas cuando el ataque viene, when struggle comes cuando las situaciones vienen, when pain comes cuando el dolor viene, when loneliness comes cuando la soledad llega, we're so quick somos rápidos to blame God para culpar a Dios. we're so quick somos rápidos to blame our boyfriend our girlfriend para culpar a nuestro novio, nuestro novias. we are so quick somos rápidos to blame our parents para culpar a nuestros padres. we are so quick to point the finger somos rápido para apuntar el dedo. But how quick are we to say, man, this was really my fault? Pero cuán tan rápido somos para decir que esto fue mi culpa? How quick are we? Qué tan rápido somos? To say, man, all this happened because of me. Que todo esto pasó por mi culpa. Wow, what if I really didn't do that? Y si yo de verdad no hubiera hecho eso? Next book, Judges. El próximo es Jueces. The book of Judges. El, el libro de Jueces. All right, before we go to Judges, I want everybody to stand up. Antes que vayamos allá, que todos se paren. Everybody to stand up, please. Que se paren. Thank you. I want you guys to lift your hands. Quiero que las manos. All the way up, both hands. Bien arriba. Now move it to the left. Esta mano a la izquierda. Move it to the right. A la derecha. Back. Atrás. Front. Al frente. Slap your right ankle. Que se a la izquierda. Now take one circle spin. Y ahora que se All right, now you guys can sit down. Open up the book of Judges. Hope you guys are ready and awake for what's happening next. Judges. <laughs> Judges chapter 6. 
jueces capítulo 6 Judges chapter 6 Judges chapter 6 verse 12 Capítulo 6 verso 12 Now ready? ¿Están listos? It says Dice When the angel of the Lord appeared to Gideon Cuando el ángel del Señor se le apareció a Gideon He Gideon, said The Lord dijo, is with you mighty warrior El Señor está contigo guerrero valiente But sir Pero señor Gideon replied if the Lord is with us why has all this happened to us oh man how many times have we asked God that question where are all his wonders that our fathers told us about when they said did not the Lord bring us out of Egypt but now the Lord has abandoned us and put us in the hand of Midian verse 14 says the Lord turned to him and said go in the strength you have and save Israel out of Midian's hand am I not sending you? when God appeared to Gideon Gideon was in the farmland threshing wheat he was threshing wheat but the crazy thing is that the angel of the Lord said God is with you mighty warrior but he was in the fields threshing wheat so all this thing is happening bad in Israel they're being attacked like crazy there's struggle all over the place there's death left and right and then the angel of the Lord says God is with you mighty warrior see the problem is many of us are called to be warriors but we're too busy threshing wheat Muchos nos llaman a ser guerreros, pero estamos muy, eh, muy ocupados haciendo esta otra cosa. Because I was surprised at this. Pero entonces eso me sorprendió. Here we have a man threshing wheat. Acá tenemos un hombre moviendo el trigo. And the angel of the Lord comes to him. Y el, y el ángel del Señor viene a él. To remind him. Para acordarle. Or to let him know. O que dejarle saber. That, the, that God is with him. Que Dios está con él. Mighty warrior. Guerrero valiente. Why is he not in the front lines fighting? Porque no está al frente peleando. I feel like it's time to be warriors and fight back. I don't know about you guys. But I'm tired of lifting my shield of faith. And keeping my sword down. I'm tired of letting the devil attack me. I'm tired of watching the arrows come this way. And all I can do is dodge. All I can do is block with my shield. I believe for many of us it's time to fight back it's time for us to realize that we are warriors see many of us are still busy threshing wheat when God is, when God is calling you to fight the verse says go and save Israel from the Midian's hand and then verse 14 says the Lord told him go in the strength you have go in the strength you have so you're telling me Gideon already had strength to accomplish this assignment but instead of fighting he's threshing wheat many of us are capable of saving our families many of us are already capable of saving relationships many of us are already capable of saving our schools but instead of being in the front lines fighting with threshing wheat God is calling us to be warriors God is calling us to fight back I don't know about you guys but I'm ready to fight back it says Am I not sending you? No te estoy mandando a ti. Am I not sending you? No te estoy mandando a ti. I love that he asked that question. Me gusta que él preguntó eso. Because despite all our failures, Porque no importa lo que pase, we ain't perfect. No somos perfectos. So despite all our flaws, Entonces, no importa lo que no, eh, despite no all falla, the times that we fail, todas las veces que hemos fallado, God still has to ask us 
Dios siempre todavía nos tiene que preguntar. Am I not sending you? No te estoy mandando a ti. God is telling you, am I not sending you? Dios te está preguntando, no te estoy mandando. Isn't that enough? Es que eso no es suficiente. Isn't that enough for me to tell you go and fight in the strength you already have? No es suficiente que yo diga vaya y peleas con las fuerzas que tengas. But we are constantly like Gideon. Pero siempre soy como somos como Gideon. Waiting in the field. Esperando en el campo. For God to remind us. Para que Dios nos recuerde. That we're strong. Que somos fuertes. For God to remind us. Para que Dios nos recuerde. That we are warriors. Que somos guerreros. Church, I don't know about you. Iglesia, yo no sé sobre But I'm convinced. That I am a warrior. And if you are a warrior, I believe you should give God a praise break right now. Tommy could come up. I'm going to end, end this and go to my third point. Like Chiki said last week, stop disqualifying yourself when you've already been qualified. Cuando ya son cualificados. In other words, en otras palabras, don't quit the job. No, eh, no salgas del trabajo. When God called you to be the supervisor. Cuando Dios te llamó de ser ese supervisor. Not quit the job. No te salgas del trabajo. When God has called you to be the supervisor. Cuando Dios te llamó a ser el supervisor. Am I not sending you? No estoy diciendo eso. Now third step. El último parte. In order to counter. Para poder contra. You must first encounter God's glory. In order to counter, we must first encounter God's glory. If we open up to the book of Daniel 10, chapter 10, verse 5, I'll read it to you guys. It says, I looked up, and there before me was a man dressed in linen with the belt of the finest gold around his waist. His body was like chrysolite, his face like lightning, his eyes like flaming torches, his arms and legs like the gleam of burnished bronze, and his voice like the sound of a multitude. Levanté los ojos y vi ante mí un hombre vestido de lino, con cinturón de oro más refinado. Su cuerpo brillaba como el topacio y su rostro resplandecía como el re, relámpago. Verse 7 says, I, Daniel, who was the only one who saw the vision. Yo, Daniel, fue el único que vi la visión. I was the only one who saw the vision. Yo fui el único que vi la visión. The men with me did not see it. Los hombres conmigo no lo vieron. But such terror overwhelmed them. Pero tanto terror los llenaron that they fled and hid themselves. It's important that we're with the right people. It's important that we have a great relationship one-on-one. -on -one. Because God could be sending you a vision. And to the other people, it can be terror. So what is the vision to you? Is it a mission? Or is it terror? It says, I had no strength left. Dice, yo no tenía más My face turned deathly pale. Mi cara I was helpless. Sin poder. Then I heard him speaking. Y lo And as I listened to him, y lo escuché, I fell into a deep sleep. Me llené de un sueño muy largo. My face to the ground. Mi cara en el suelo. But then a hand touched me. Pero una mano me tocó. And set me trembling on my hands and knees. Y me paró a mis manos y mis pies. He said, Daniel, y me dijo, Daniel. You who are highly esteemed. Tú eres que eres bueno. Consider carefully the words I am about to speak to you. Muy, eh, las que and te voy a stand decir. up. Y párate. For I have now. Ahora been sent to you. Que yo te he and when he said this to me. Y él me dijo a mí, I stood up trembling. Yo me paré Daniel. Daniel witnessed the glory vio la gloria, and instead of reacting and speaking in tongues y en vez de hablar en lenguas, jumping all around eh, brincando por todos lados, crying under the spirit gritando en el espíritu, it says he was helpless le dijo que no tenía fuerzas, he said he had no strength que no tenía fuerzas. he said he was deathly pale que estaba super pálido, and that he fell to the ground y que se cayó al suelo. church I have come to understand that Iglesia, yo he venido a entender que it is impossible to counter attack que es imposible para contraatacar the enemy el enemigo unless you haven't been first knocked been knocked down by God. Si Dios no te ha eh, 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 
dicho caer. I'll repeat it again. Lo vuelvo a repetir. It is impossible to counterattack the enemy. Es imposible contraatacar. Unless you haven't been first been knocked down by God. Si Dios no te ha empujado. We may think getting knocked down by God is a bad thing. Podemos pensar que si Dios nos aporrea es malo. We can be like, oh my God, God is putting me through another test. Si no Dios nos está pasando por otra prueba. And if I pass it, y si la paso, he'll see how I really am. Va a ver cómo de verdad soy. But we we don't understand fully. Pero no entendemos completamente. That when God knocks you down, cuando Dios te empuja al suelo, He's knocking down more than just you. Él no solo te está empujando a ti mismo. Because when He knocks you down, porque él cuando te empuja, He's knocking down the things you carry. Estaba eh, tirando todas las cosas que so tienes. So when He looks at you, entonces cuando te ve, He sees purpose. Él ve propósito. But He also sees pride. Pero también ve orgullo. He sees salvation. Va a ver salvación. But He also sees struggle. Pero también ve problemas. So when he looks at you, Entonces, cuando te vea, it says, I'm going to have you go through all this. It's not because he wants to put you test after test after test. No es porque quiere que pases prueba, prueba, prueba. It's because he wants to knock down the things he have on you. Es porque quiere tirar las cosas que tienes en ti. Because when God knocks you down, porque cuando Dios te tira, you get to stand up te puedes parar with a light burden con un, eh, una carga menos and a heavier anointing. When God knocks you down, you stand up with a lighter burden and a heavier anointing. We have to realize that when we fall before the divine presence of God, that's when we focus on His strength and not ours. But see, we can so easily fall. Pero podemos fácilmente caer. We can so easily fall in temptation. Podemos caer en tentación. We can so easily fall in our struggles. Podemos caer en nuestros problemas. We can so easily fall in temptation comes. Podemos caer cuando la tentación llega. When struggle comes. Cuando el problema llega. But how easy can we fall? Pero qué tan fácil podemos caer. Before the presence of God. En la presencia de Dios. Why is falling? Por qué será que caer? Before the presence of God. En la presencia de Dios. Harder. Más difícil. Than falling. Que cayendo. In sin. Now see, I'm not talking about falling physically. I'm talking about falling in the interior. Because when we fall in the interior, we realize that strength does not belong to us. Strength, we don't have enough of that. But we have strength when we allow, when we allow God to knock us down in order for we can stand up stronger than before. Daniel, if we read on, he was overcome by anguish. He was helpless. He says all his strength was gone and that he can hardly breathe. I don't know if you're feeling helpless tonight. I don't know when struggle hits you if you're feeling helpless. Ask yourself, how are you feeling? Do you feel helpless? Do you feel like your strength is gone when you fall? Don't be discouraged. Because the angel of the Lord then touched Daniel and said, Peace, be strong now. Be strong. See, God cannot give you his strength if you're still holding on to yours. God cannot give you his peace if you think you already have some. If you think you found peace in this world, God is just going to say, okay, enjoy it. While it lasts. But if you want real peace, if you want real strength, if you want real power, then in order to counter attack, you must first encounter attack. You must first encounter yourself. You must first encounter the glory of God. 2 Corinthians 12, 9 says, my grace is sufficient for you. You guys can stand up. My grace is sufficient for you. Ready? Because for my power Porque para mi poder is made perfect es hecho perfecto in weakness. En la debilidad. I want you guys to repeat after me. Quiero que repitan después de mí. God, Dios, I want power Yo quiero poder 
But I don't want easy power. Pero no quiero poder fácil. I don't want light power. No quiero poder de fácil. I don't want just power. No quiero solo poder. I want perfect power. Quiero poder perfecto. See, when we find perfect power, sí, el poder perfecto, it's when we go through weakness. Es cuando pasamos para la debilidad. Whenever you feel weak, cuando te sientas débil, do not be discouraged. No te has, eh, no te sientas mal. Because when you go through weakness, Porque cuando pasas por eso, God can show you his strength. Dios te va a mostrar su poder. I want to pray with you guys. Con Everybody close your head, Cierre close your eyes, ojos, bow your heads, please. Y bajen su cabeza. Now we're going to do this a little differently. Vamos a hacer eso un poquito diferente. If you say, God, I want some of your perfect power. Because my power is not enough. My strength is not enough. I want some of yours. All eyes closed, all heads bowed. And if this is you, that says, God, I'm tired of my power. I want yours. Lift your hands. I see, wow, I see your hand. I see your hand. I see your hand. I see your hand. Wow, wow, wow. See, our power is not enough. We need God's power. So I'm going to pray over you guys. Tonight. Father God. I ask Yo te pido, and I pray y te ruego, that you allow your power que tú dejes que tu poder, to rest, around, rest upon every single person que esté en cada persona, who lifted their hands. Cuando alzó sus manos. God, I ask from this day forward Yo, yo te pido que en este momento en adelante, you can give them the strength to counter temptation, para a la to tentación, counter sin, para el, el to pecado, counter everything para todo that does not please you. Que no te God, I pray yo te oro, Señor, that your presence que tu overwhelms them que nos, los llene to the point hasta el punto that power que el poder perfect power el poder perfecto is within them. Están en ellos. In the name of Jesus, en el de Jesús, after today, después de hoy, that addiction esa is gone. Es, esta no that no chain esa cadena is broken la rompieron. with your perfect power Con tu poder perfecto. in the name of Jesus. En el nombre de Jesus. Amen. Amen. Now if someone Ahora, si alguien wants to make the most important decision of your life quiere hacer la, eh, más de tu vida, and say, man, decir, I want some of this Jesus. Yo un de este Jesús. I want Jesus in my life. Jesús en mi vida. You can even have Jesus before Tener a Jesús antes. And if you want Jesus again, Pero si Jesús otra if vez, you want to start over, si a empezar, this is your chance. Este es tu if this is you, si este es tu, I want you to come with courage que con and come to the front y al frente, facing this way. Este lado. And if this is you, y si este eres tú, who wants to say, God, que decir, Dios, I'm done fighting with you. Yo ya estoy de I want to follow you. If that's you, come up and a si este leader is going to come up and pray si este with you. Jesus, Jesus. Let your presence Deja que tu overwhelm us. Nos llene. Not only now, no ahora, but for the rest of our lives. Pero para el resto de vidas. Jesus, take over. Jesus, toma control. And we ask that you take control of everything. Y te pido que tomes control de In todo. your name, In tu nombre, we pray. Oramos. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Give God a praise break real fast Amen. if you love him. Praise break a Dios. Give God a praise break if you love him. Hallelujah. Um, vamos a acabar el servicio. Let's finish the service. Eh, ¿Cuántos han recibido una palabra de Dios How en esta noche? ¿Cuántos han sido tocados por Dios en esta noche? By God ¿Cuántos están ready How para seguir to eh, contraatacando cualquier problema, Any problem, cualquier dificultad, any difficulty, lo que sea whatever it is que se levante? That may lift ¿Cuántos you? se sienten How many feel un paso más cerca a step closer de la victoria. to victory. Levanta tus manos. Lift your hands. Y vamos a darle gracias. And let's